What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Cam, and welcome back to another episode of the Restoration Cam. Today, we'll be working on these crushed Motorsport 4 alternates. I previously did a video to the regular Motorsport 4s. I put that link in the description below, so make sure you go check that out as well. These shoes really do look as bad as they smell, so I really look forward to this restoration, so make sure you stay to the end of it to see the results. But before we even get into this video, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future, and comment on this video whenever you feel needed it because I really want to hear you guys opinion on my content with that being said let's get started this restoration we'll be working on the right shoe so we can kick the other one to the side the first thing we're gonna have to do for this restoration is give these shoes a nice deep cleaning inside and out but before we do anything else we're gonna have to remove the insole and the laces so let's get started So what I'll be using to clean will be a solution I made myself, an Angelus medium bristle brush, a stiff bristle toothbrush, isopropyl alcohol, and cotton pads. Here are the results for after the deep cleaning. As you can see, all the previous dirt and grime is gone. Next thing we're going to be doing is removing all of the paint from the midsole. So the first thing you're going to be needing is acetone. You can get this from Walmart for about $6 and cotton balls. You can get those for about $2. I'll put the link in the description for both of them below. So it's very important that you don't oversaturate the cotton balls with acetone because it will get into the shoe and ruin the project. I usually tape off the parts that I don't want to get affected by the acetone, but since this was a restoration project and I was going to be painting off the uppers anyway, I didn't worry about it too much. It's going to take a little minute to get down to the bare midsole because manufacturers use a lot of coats of paint. You're going to have to press hard with the cotton balls and you might even have to use 10 of them just to get paint off on one side of the shoe. The 
when you start to see a white layer that is the very first coat that was on the midsole and that's how you know you're almost done removing the paint So next we'll be taping off the midsole and applying the first coat of white paint. We're using white as a base because it'll make it easier to apply to other colors. So the type of paint we're going to be using is Angelus Flat White and when applying the paint you will have to use more coats than normal to cover the base of the midsole. So next I'll be painting the midsole with Angelus black paint. Make sure it's black and not flat black because flat black will give you the matte tone like the uppers. So I actually messed up on this part of the video. I was supposed to tape off the bottom part of the midsole and keep the upper part black. So I'm going to correct that off camera.
So the next part of restoration will be taping off and painting the gray parts of the midsole. To get the color, I use Angelus light gray paint and mixing it with a little bit of Angelus flat white. After spraying the midsole with the Krylon gloss finish, I'll be taping off the midsole in preparation to paint the uppers. storm floors don't forget to repaint the wings because a lot of times they have discoloration or scuffs that might not be noticeable and it's going to give a more professional look to your project Before lacing the shoes up, I went outside and sprayed the uppers with Krylon Matte Finisher. The 
first thing I did for this restoration was give these shoes a massive deep cleaning. Then I used acetone to remove the paint from the midsole. And then I repainted the midsoles and the uppers. Thank you all for tuning into this video today, guys. Make sure you leave a comment. I really want to hear you guys' opinion and what kind of projects you'd like to see from me in the future. These shoes will actually be on sale. You can get them in the link in the description below along with all the supplies I use for this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. I'm out.